Hello everyone, this is Rep from RA3D at Purdue. Just here talking about some more things we've realized about the game pieces and field elements as we've come to work with them a little bit longer. One of the first things we've noticed is with the algae, with just a little bit of demo and prototyping we've done with them, we've noticed that they tend to wear really easily. So as you can see, we have these pale spots which are a lot easier to press in and have already worn pretty thin compared to just the normal algae uh, rubber texture. So that's one of the first things. Another thing that we've come to realize after working with the coral pieces is that there is a very large surface area so that the angle of attack is has a wide variety that you can come in with with the coral. So for example, the L2 and L3s, you can come with just a little bit above a flat angle and it'll sit and balance just like that. But even with a little bit of forward inward momentum, they'll slide right on. And for L4, we've noticed that it's about a 45 degree angle. We'll get it to sit like this and it'll spin around, but a little bit of more momentum and it slides right on. One of the, and one more thing that we've noticed due to the cage, the cage is rather heavy. So, and we've done some testing with putting about 70 pounds of materials on top of a cart and running it into this cage to see how the cage reacts. The cage does not move very much when hit. So this means that it's a little more forgiving for over driving it or like driving into it when trying to climb onto it. But it also means that if you hit this with your robot, it could cause a lot of damage, potentially season ending damage. So that's just something to be concerned about. Yeah.